Welcome to today's episode of Get It Right on Youth Shapes TV. I am your presenter, Yaki. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. So, you like to have sex. Good for you. Sex is the best. But lately, there have been some problems in your life because of your sexual habits. Maybe you really love your wife, but she dumped you after catching you having sex with a babysitter. Perhaps you were doing great at your job, but you just got fired after getting caught in your office bidding off to pornography. Maybe you're starting to wonder if you have some sort of problem. Or maybe you knew you had a problem all along and you thought the most important thing was not to let anyone ever find out. So many people get all worked up about the sex addiction thing. How can anyone be addicted to sex? <sighs> Come on, don't get hooked on semantics. Here is a list of 10 signs that mean you could be a sex addict. If you have none of the things on this list, good for you. If you have between one and three of these things, check yourself and figure out what is going on. If you have more than three, you need to find someone to talk to and you should probably do it soon. You live a double life. This one is tricky. Maybe you cheat all the time and lie about where you are and how you spend your money. That in itself doesn't make you an addict. But if you have sexual secrets that you refuse to share with anyone or if somehow you figure out ways to spend a day with two or more different women, then something is way, way off. Sex is private. But if your whole life is going to go down the tubes, if people know what you really are up to and you have to lie to everyone constantly just to stay afloat, then you have at least the beginnings of a problem. You exploit others for sex. You're probably a good guy. You're kind to kids and animals. You cried when you watched The Lion King. When your girlfriend talks about her feelings, you listen. You really do. But when it comes to sex, you could care less about other people. They are just objects to use to get off or toys to play with. You don't care what happens to them when you're done with them and you will do anything to get them to do what you want. Your life is constantly in crisis. Because sex is your number one priority, everything else is always totally messed up. When you're at work, you spend the majority of your time trying to get your boss to sleep with you. Once you succeed, you try to get that cute little girl to meet you out for drinks. Once you start sleeping with her, you try for the woman on the desk across from yours. If you manage to stay employed, you are constantly broke and you get two credit cards your wife doesn't know about so you can keep up the appearances you need to with your girlfriends. Everything from school to work to money is secondary to feeding your addiction. You are preoccupied with sex. Well, I don't mean this in a wow, look at that girl's ass kind of way. I mean, you can't concentrate on anything for more than 10 minutes without going back into your place of fantasy. If you aren't fantasizing, you are planning your next move. And if you aren't planning your next move, you are having sex, which then makes you feel ashamed. So to combat that, you go right back into fantasy. You have sex without regard to potential consequences. You are out of control. Your wife is upstairs and you are banging her best friend on the couch. It isn't enough to have sex with a co-worker. You have to do it on your boss's desk. You just spent your salary at the strip club or you just gave your credit card pin number to your random girlfriend. If you are doing things that are going to screw you over in the future, and you know they are going to screw you over in the future, then your sex life has crossed the line. Your kink needs to be fed more and more. Some people are into some odd stuff, some aren't. There are a myriad of different things that people do to get off, and whether or not you like to be tied up or you walk your girlfriend on a leash isn't the issue. What is the issue is, if the kink you have becomes your whole sin and you need to go deeper and deeper into the world to get it off, what can start off as fun 
can wind up as something deeply destructive down the road. You masturbate it all the time. And I mean all the time. You do it in the morning, you do it on your lunch break, and you do it before you go to sleep. You do it before sex, and you do it after sex. It is a sign that there are some issues. I don't mean to be judgmental. Your relationships are always messed up. The key word here is always. You always knew your past relationships would end because you did something insane related to sex. It was just a matter of time before you would do something totally off the charts, get caught at it and have to move on. It wasn't like you learned a lesson. It was a lifestyle. I'm not talking about, oh, I got caught cheating and my girlfriend dumped me. No, it is that you are always cheating. You know you are going to get caught and you can't stop. You feel powerless. You can't stop acting out. You try to stop, but you lose everything. Little by little, you lose everything. You keep on going until it's all gone, until you're lying in a corner in your room until you feel like dying try not to get there go talk to someone you trust you hurt yourself who knows you could always be a sociopath but if you aren't and you're going through life hurting other people and destroying yourself you are going to start disliking yourself quite a bit and the worst part is you are so sure that if you tell someone else who you are and the things you've done they would hurt you too. If after listening to this, you think you might be a sex addict, talk to someone you trust. And if you don't have someone you trust, talk to a professional. It isn't easy to get help unless you really want to. But that isn't a reason or an excuse to keep acting this way. If you have suggestions as to topics you'd like us to treat, also if you would like to share stories about your sex life, which you think others might have one or two things to learn from, kindly WhatsApp us. That is all for today. Remember, get it right on YouTube TV comes to you every Friday. Kindly subscribe to your YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook so you can stay updated with our future videos. See you next Friday. Till then, bye.